Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can speed up your Windows computer. It Like I said before, today we are going to see how to speed up your Windows computer. So let's get into it. It doesn't matter whether you have a laptop or a desktop. This is going to be a very simple and easy process. We will see different steps which you can do to get a better performance from your computer. So after watching this video, you will be able to make your Windows computer work faster and be more responsive. We also have a surprise at the end, a secret ingredient which is sure to make your computer faster. So make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. I'm Brian from Upset Learners and let's start speeding up our Windows computer. First, let's see how our computer is performing now so that we can compare the performance improvements after doing the steps. So first, we're going to check the load time of our Windows computer. Here we have a timer to check the load time. So let's turn on our computer. So our computer took 36 seconds to load. Once you have checked your Windows load time, let's check the application opening time. So let's go to Windows and check how long it takes to open Photoshop. Let's start the timer and open Photoshop simultaneously. As you can see, it took 26 seconds to open Photoshop. Okay, once you have checked the time it takes for your computer to open applications, Next, let's see how many background tasks are running on your computer. So to do that, let's open the task manager by pressing the control, shift and escape keys. And you will get this window. Now click on performance. And here you can see the number of processes running on your computer. So right now, there are 221 background processes running on this computer. But we are not using a lot of apps right now. So this means that most of these are background tasks running on our computer. And all these background tasks can affect your computer's performance. On average, this number needs to be around 100. Now to improve our Windows performance, we are going to do 5 steps. The first step is to remove unnecessary Windows processes. Windows comes with many apps by default and most of them run in the background. Once you remove these unnecessary apps, your Windows computer will be faster. So to remove the unnecessary Windows processes, we need to run the Dbloat Windows script. This is just a program which will help you remove unwanted background tasks on your computer. So to run the script, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now let's copy this code. Then right click on your windows icon and click on windows partial admin. You will get a window like this. Now click here and press the control and V keys on your keyboard to paste it and the code will be pasted here. Now press enter then you will get this window. This is the Windows Dbloat tool. Now to disable the default Windows background tasks, just click tweaks. Then select your device type. I'm using a laptop, so I'm going to select it. And here you can see that these items are automatically selected. These are the unnecessary settings and programs that come by default with Windows and can be safely disabled. So let's click run tweaks. And you can see that the tweaks have been applied. So let's click OK. So now we have successfully disabled the Windows background tasks running on your computer. Now before the tweaks were applied, you can see that this tool creates something called a restore point. A restore point is basically a backup of the current system configuration and can be used to undo the changes we made in case something goes wrong. We'll see how to do that later in this video. Now let's go to step two, which is to disable frequent Windows updates. Now getting Windows updates frequently can slow down your computer a lot. So we will disable it and allow only important security updates. So let's go back to the tool and click updates. Now we can choose the recommended option which will allow only security updates to be installed. And your new windows update settings will be applied. Now we have successfully removed the frequent windows updates. So let's click OK. Now let's go to step 3 which is to disable startup apps. Usually to use an app, we manually open it on windows. But some apps open automatically when we turn on our computer and continue to run in the background. 
these apps can affect the performance of your computer. So to disable the startup apps, let's open the task manager by pressing the control shift and the escape keys. Now click on startup. And here you can see the startup apps on your computer. Now to stop unnecessary apps from starting automatically with windows, just right click on the app and select disable. And it will be disabled. In the same way, you can disable the auto startup feature for the remaining apps. So now we have successfully disabled the startup apps on our computer. Okay, so now let's go to step 4 which is to remove unused apps from your computer. So you may have some apps installed on your windows which you are no longer using. Those apps can affect your computer's performance. So to remove the unused apps, just click on the windows icon. Click settings. Now click on apps. And you can see all the apps installed on your computer. Now to remove the unused apps, just click on the app you want to remove and click uninstall. Then uninstall the app. And the app will be successfully removed from your computer. In the same way, you can uninstall any app that you want to remove. Okay, now let's go to step 5, which is to remove temporary files. Now, on your computer, you may have downloaded many files and installed a lot of apps or programs. Most of these programs can leave a lot of temporary files which are no longer needed but end up taking up space on your hard drive and can affect the performance of your computer. So, to remove these temporary files, open Windows File Manager. Right click on Windows Drive and click Properties. Now click Disk Cleanup and click on Cleanup System Files and you will get this window. Here you can select the files which you want to be deleted. So if you have some files that you need from these folders, you can deselect these options. Now click OK and click Delete Files. This process will take some time depending on the speed of your drive. So now you have cleared a computer storage space. Now click OK and close this window. Now we have successfully completed the steps needed to speed up our Windows computer. So to check and see how much faster our computer has become, first let's check the startup time. So to check the startup time, let's shut down our computer. And then turn it on and start the timer at the same time. As you can see, Windows has loaded in 25 seconds, which is 11 seconds faster than last time. Next, let's check our application opening time. So let's open Photoshop and start the timer at the same time. You can see that Photoshop has opened in 19 seconds, which is 7 seconds faster. Okay, now let's check the performance improvements. So like we did before, let's open the task manager by pressing the Ctrl, Shift and Escape keys. Now click on Performance. And here you can see that the running tasks have been reduced from 221 to 124. This means that we have removed a lot of unnecessary background tasks. Okay, so in the same way, you can check the performance of your Windows computer after doing all these steps. Now in case something went wrong in the process, for example, you're not able to open certain programs or you're getting a random error message like this, you can undo the changes made by the above steps by restoring your computer from a restore point. A restore point is a snapshot of some important files like the system files and the Windows registry. So to restore your computer from a restore point, press the Win key on your keyboard and start typing restore point. Open it. Now click on system restore and you will get this window. Now click next and here you will get a list of restore points that you can use. You need to select the latest one. Now if you can't find the latest one, you can click this checkbox to show more restore points. After selecting the latest restore point, click next. Now when you click finish, the computer will restart and your computer will be restored to the way it was working before. So if your computer is working fine, and you're not facing any such issues, you can continue with the tutorial. Okay, now if you want to further speed up your Windows computer, you can do that by upgrading your computer's hard drive to an SSD. Currently, we have two types of storage drives that we use on our computers. Hard disk drive which is HDD 
and solid state drive which is SSD. A hard disk can read and write files with speeds around 100 MB per second and SSDs can read and write files with speeds around 500 MB per second. As you can see SSDs are much faster than hard disk drives. So there's a significant speed difference based on the type of drive your computer has. This includes the time it takes for your computer to load windows, open apps, copy files and more. So first let's check and see what kind of drive you have on your computer. So let's open the task manager by pressing the Control, shift and escape keys on your keyboard. Then click on performance. And here you can check and see if your computer has a hard drive or an SSD. You can see that we currently have a hard disk drive. If you already have an SSD, it will be shown here like this. So if you have a hard drive and want to greatly improve the performance of your computer, you can do that by adding an SSD. Okay, now let's see how you can add an SSD to your Windows computer. Now there are two ways to use Windows with an SSD. The first method is to do a fresh install of Windows on the SSD. So if you want to do that, you can watch this video. In this video, we will see the second method which is to copy all the files from a hard drive onto SSD and then replace the old hard drive on our computer with a new SSD. Now to do this, we need two things. First of all, an SSD and then a connector cable like this. As you know, we still have all our files and windows in the hard disk of our computer. So we will be using this cable to copy everything from our computer to the SSD. So to get our SSD, first we need to find out what size SSD we need for our computer. To do that, let's open the task manager by pressing the Control, Shift and Escape keys. Click on Performance and click on the C drive here. Here you can see the capacity is 233 GB. So we need to get an SSD which has a storage larger than this. If you have a hard drive of higher capacity like say 950 GB, you will have to get an SSD of larger size accordingly. So to get the SSD and the connector cable, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page on Amazon. Now here, choose the size based on the amount of storage you need. Now I need around this much storage, so I am going to select this and click buy now. And now we have successfully purchased our SSD. Okay. Now to purchase the SSD connector cable, let's go back to our video and click on this link. Now this is the cable we need to connect the SSD to our computer. So let's click buy now. And we have successfully purchased our connecting cable. Okay, once you get the SSD and the connector cable, next let's see how you can copy all your files from the hard drive to the new SSD. So to copy everything, first we need to install a software called Macrium Reflect 8. This is the software which will help you copy all your files and the Windows OS to the new SSD. So to get the software, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now scroll down and on this plan, click free download and you will get this pop-up. Now select this option and click continue. You can see that the installation file will be downloaded to our computer. Now to install the software, Let's click on it and you will get this window. Now click download and the software is downloading now. Once the download is complete, you will get this window. So let's click next and again click next. Now select this option, click next, then click on this box and click next. Now you can uncheck this box, then click next and again click next. Finally, let's click install. So now we have successfully installed the Macrium Reflex software. So let's click finish. Once you have installed the software, we can start copying all the files from the hard drive to the SSD. So take your SSD and connect it carefully with the connector cable like this and connect the USB end to the USB port of your computer. Once you have connected the SSD to your computer, let's go to Windows and open the Macrium Reflex software. And here you can see the drives which are connected to your computer. This is the hard disk drive where we have all our files and Windows OS. And this is our new SSD. Now here, make sure the Windows OS drive is selected and click clone this disk. So to copy everything to the SSD, here you need to select the destination but you want the data to be copied. So let's click here and select a new SSD. 
Now click next. Again click next. And click finish. Now click OK. Check this box. And click continue. You can see that all our files and our Windows OS are copying to the SSD. This process will take some time. So you can take a break now. Once it's done, this window will pop up. And you can see that we have successfully copied all our files and the Windows OS from our old hard disk to the new SSD. Once you have copied your files, you can disconnect the SSD from your computer by clicking here and click on eject safely. You can now safely disconnect the SSD and the connector cable. And finally, we can now add the SSD to our computer. So to add the SSD, let's open the back panel of our computer. And as you can see here, this is our hard disk drive. Now to add a new SSD, let's remove the hard drive. Once you have removed it, insert your SSD. And so now we have successfully added the SSD storage to our computer. Now let's reattach the back panel and screw it in. This process will be slightly different for every other laptop. So to find the exact process to follow for your laptop, you can check the model number of your laptop like this. For example, let's say your laptop model number is Lenovo IdeaPad 330. So just go to YouTube, search for SSD upgrade Lenovo IdeaPad 330 and you will get these videos. So you can follow this video to open your laptop and change the hard drive to the SSD you have prepared. Once you've added your SSD, let's check the speed difference from a hard disk to an SSD. First, we're going to check our Windows loading time. So let's turn on a computer and start the timer at the same time. And as you can see, after the SSD upgrade, it took us 8 seconds to load. So this means our Windows load time has reduced from 36 seconds to 8 seconds, which is a huge difference. And since we copied all our files from the hard drive, you can see that we still have all the programs and files just the way it was before. So this is how you can speed up your Windows performance by upgrading a hard drive to an SSD. So that's it guys. Now you know how you can speed up your Windows computer. Okay. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.